Hey, what's up, day walkers and fellow travelers of the night? I am finally starting to feel better, and so thank you for being patient with me. I wanted to record this last weekend. The leak in our apartment persisted, and uh, and then it got fixed, and then there was mold, and then we had to deal with that. And so it's been like one thing after another, and even everything isn't even completely done yet. But I figured, you know what? I talked to Blue, and I was like, just finish the setup of the apartment, and let's just get to making some content. And when they show back up to finish some of the other work, we'll just move everything out of their way if we need to. So, uh, which I don't think we will. I think we strategize this pretty well so they can get in and out without uh, causing us any, you know, reason to move stuff. So yeah, very cool. But thank you guys again for being so patient and uh, giving me time to rest and and, and kind of get back into this mode where I can speak full sentences and paragraphs without having to take deep breaths and stuff. So I really do appreciate it. So we're here today to talk about the Moon Knight Blu-ray that released in Steelbook Limited Edition. Really, really cool. This was available on Walmart and Amazon, a couple other places. And I ran, I think it ran about $45 roughly. Some places had it closer to 50. And then some places, if you go on eBay, people are trying to, you know, scalp them and buy them and buy as many copies as they can and flip them for like 90 bucks or whatever. So I'm glad I got it for regular price. Not that I wouldn't pay more for it. I love the show. Obviously, Blue and I do. But, uh, but still, it's good to get it at the design price for it. <laughs> you know, and yeah, we could always watch it for free on Disney Plus. But after X-Men is over, X-Men 97, we won't have Disney Plus anymore because we take breaks. You know, we just do one streaming service at a time. And so we might keep one for like two months and then we'll get rid of it and then jump over to Netflix and, you know, and, and catch up on shows we missed there and invite, you know, continue the cycle of going to all of them because we just don't have time to watch and sit and just enjoy three or four streaming services at one time. We just don't have the time for that. So, but so Moon Knight, we won't be able to watch for free anymore. And I thought, well, that's so great that they released this on Blu-ray with some cool special features uh, that I'll talk about. Um, but I want to show off some footage of what you get in this. Obviously, you get the Blu-rays themselves, the two discs that are situated, you know, one behind the other. And then you get the cool artwork. And I'll show close-ups of that, of the three images which, if you remember, if for those of you who watch all my Moon Knight stuff on Seek at Night and, sh you know, watch all the unboxing videos we did of, like, the 22-plus boxes of Moon Knight cards that me and Blue opened and, and put the footage here on the, on the channel, you could see that these images look familiar um, because they are from the art book of the Art of Moon Knight and also the Chamber of the Gods trading cards. Uh, like this one here. And so, uh, so yeah, that's where the artwork came from on those. And I know a lot of people who weren't familiar where that artwork came from when they were unboxing, I watched their videos and they were like, oh, I love this. It's artwork. And uh, it's like, yeah, it's artwork, concept art from the show. And if you want to see more of that, I encourage people to get the Art of Moon Knight, which is a great book. And also the Art of Werewolf by Night, which I also have, which is also a great book. Um, but yeah, you'll get three of the images in here of, uh, of that great artwork from the concept designers. Oh, and I do want to mention that my friend Andy over at Screen Rant did an interview with one of the people that worked on the design of the costume from Moon Knight. So I'm going to put a link to that down below so you can see his interview with her. It's amazing, really awesome. And they try to, he tries to get some answers out of her about a season two because obviously a lot of people were speculating since this says the complete first season that there would be a season two. And I would love a season two personally, but I think they have other plans for Moon Knight in other films and other parts of the MCU before then. So, you know, let's let them cook with that character for a little while because out of all the Phase 4 stuff, Moon Knight was up there among my favorite. Uh, you know, I didn't have a ton of favorite stuff in Phase 4. Most of it, I was like, okay, it's okay. You know, like I liked WandaVision. I was like, oh, that was good. Um, and then I liked uh, this, obviously, Moon Knight. And I liked What If. And so there's some things in Phase 4 that I liked and, and uh, there were some things that are just kind of mediocre. And there's a couple things that I just kind of like, eh, like Eternals. I was like, yeah, I don't really, didn't really care for Eternals that much. But for the most part, you know, I'm not one of those like haters of Phase 4. I see what they were trying to do. And although they didn't pull it off completely, I thought some characters they did well. And to get Moon Knight and do him some justice, for me at least, um, I liked it. I know there are the Moon Knight fans out there that like, for me, I only read the Jeff Lemire run and a couple of cameos of him in other books. So I never really read full runs of the character until now, until after the show, and I bought all the omnibuses. And I can see now why die, you know, diehard fans of the character of the way he was before, and it was more like spy and James Bond-like with, you know, alter egos and things like that. Like, I can see why maybe the show didn't really appease them um, on that level. You know, they wanted more violence or more this, and I'm like, yeah, I get that. But I guess because I was really only exposed to the Jeff Lemire run before the show came out, 
that's probably why I kind of settled into the show. Um, and then also just personally, you know, what I was going through at the time, which isn't a one-to-one -one comparison by any means of the show, but it was just neat to see a representation of DID that was very thoughtful and caring. And, uh, and I think I needed to see something like that as I was learning about my own situation and Blue and everyone else. So, you know, the show, like I said, I've talked about it a million times in the unboxing videos, but I have a special place in my heart for this show. And I think Oscar Isaac did an amazing job. And so did Ethan Hawke and Mae Kalamawe. And, uh, you know, everyone on the show, I thought, really delivered on their performances, for sure. And even though I have criticisms of some of the writing and stuff at times, overall, I really enjoyed what the show brought us. So I will give, like, a... a, a pretty more a more in-depth I guess review I was trying to do episode by episode and I filmed like three of them and there was so much editing involved and so much work doing the two cameras and and I just didn't have the time and I felt really bad I was like yeah, I know this is good you know like I'm making a good video here but I'm struggling at the same time and then also the stuff I get into talking about the show is can be hard for me if I do it over a quick glance see like I'm doing here or in the unboxings I seem to get through it a little easier so I think what I might do is just make one video, talk about my thoughts on this, and I'll share those very soon. And then I'll also make a separate video where I talk about the two deleted scenes, which I already described before. When they announced this, I talked about the deleted scenes. I kind of knew what they would involve. And I'll get into that and also the other special features on here. So the two deleted scenes you get on here, you get the assembled video where it was like the documentary made by Marvel and it was put on Disney Plus. It was like a one hour thing. And they talk about making the show. That's on here, and they added another special feature called Egyptology, where they get into the you know connections to Egyptian lore and history and and everything. Um, really, really cool. Another great special feature. I've already watched all this stuff, and so to so I can feel honest about telling you that I liked it. But yeah, we did a full rewatch of the show and all the special features on here um, over the course of the last couple days. So I figured while I'm in bed, I'm not feeling well, might as well just do my homework. <laughs> so we'll get into all those. I'll do a special features episode review coming up and just a review of the show overall. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can guess uh, how I feel about the show based on this one, uh, this episode. So yeah, let me know. Did you pick this up? Did you pick any of the other ones up? I think they did uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon, or it was, yeah, Winter Soldier and Falcon, or Falcon and Winter Soldier. That one came out as well. So did Obi-Wan, and uh, I think Andor was another uh, Blu-ray that came out. So I'm glad that they're putting out physical media. You know, I don't always collect physical media just because of space. I, you know, I have collections of figures and you know helmets and stuff so i don't really have shelves for, to line blu-rays and dvds up on except for my supernatural collection uh but other than that uh you know i i stick to digital media a lot but when i saw this i was like well yeah of course we got to have it we got to support it. we got to show our love for this show um so i buy physical i buy digital media all the time but uh but physical i'm like I, it's rare and this is one of those cases where it was worth it so let me know what you think did you buy it are you gonna buy it did you like the show did you not like the show Whatever it is, let me know down below. Do you like what it comes with, the three cards? I think that's really cool that they put that in there. And then also, do you have the art book? Do you have the trading cards? Whatever it is about Moon Knight, you know, action figures, whatever. Let me know down in the comments, and we'll get into it down there. But save your thoughts overall on the details and spoilers of the show for when I put that review up. And I'll try to get that video up to you guys next week sometime, and right after have the special features review for you as well. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.